devastating for Will Hempel, who's seeing the false start here. And he is disqualified from this hurdle race. Truly, truly um, a complete tragedy for this guy. Considered one of the favorites to advance in this heat, and he ends up getting disqualified for a false start. I mean, that is just so terrible. You'll work four years to get to this point, and then you get DQ'd from the race, and you're out of the Olympics. I mean, just a heartbreaking end to this guy's first Olympics. Will, Wilhelm Bolosian, truly, truly terrible, guys. I mean, I feel so bad for him. Just, I just feel so bad for him. Give me your thoughts, Sam, well, guys. Just a terrible, terrible way to go out like that. He was emotional, obviously crying. Just we were in the rain. Not really much he can do, obviously. I don't know if I, I really don't like that rule, guys. I think he should be given a, an extra chance, personally. I think you should be given a like a one false start per Olympics or something like that. I understand if you don't want to do it like every race, allow them to get an extra chance. But for something like this, this is just a terrible to make this guy go through this. He works four years to get to Rio de Janeiro, and then his Olympic is over for one little mistake. I mean, that's just ridiculous. I, I am not a fan at all, guys. I really want them. I wish they could. Uh, they could change that. Cause I'm not. I'm really just. I just think that's really unfair to these athletes. You know, you make a mistake like this, and then you're out. You know, are you kidding me? That's absolutely ridiculous. But I understand the rule. So, you know, they don't want guys cheating or whatever. They don't want them starting before the race starts. It'll give them an incentive to make sure they start when that uh, the uh, alarm or whatever goes off the bell. The siren, but I mean, to have this guy have to go through this emotional roller coaster, it's absolutely heartbreaking. Disqualified at the false start, one false start, and he's out of the Olympics. I mean, that's kind of crazy. I'm gonna look up the official rule, the wording on this false start rule 2016, the Rio Olympics. At the USA track and field, they have all the rules here. But yeah, it's just a really tough moment for this guy. And it's just, that's just terrible. Alrighty, having trouble finding the exact thing, but it's it's just a heartbreak, guys. He's crying. He's so emotional. He knows how hard he worked his ass off to get here, and he's just done, eliminated, disqualified from the Olympics before he even gets to race. I mean, it's one thing to race and you know to put your best effort out there, to come up short, but for him, he doesn't even get a chance to compete. He's just disqualified here in the 110 meter hurdles. It's, it's just awful, guys. It really is. I'm not a fan of that at all. You guys give me your thoughts. What's your opinion on it? I think that's ridiculous. I mean, we've seen it for the most part. You know, not too much of the uh, false starts, but we have seen it a couple more times. Yeah, just, just ridiculous, guys. I'm not a fan in the slightest. Anyway, give me your thoughts down below. Just an absolutely devastating moment for this guy. Wilhelm Belosian of France gets disqualified from the 110-meter hurdles. Obviously very, very emotional there. Crying as he lays there on the ground. Nothing he can do. His Olympics at Rio 2016 is over after a false start. He knew it. He knew it when it happened. He knew how much he screwed up and how... He's done. Absolutely terrible, guys. I remember that swimming race on like the first or second day where the guy false started, but they still ended up letting him race. I think they could have done something like that here because to screw a guy over like this is just really sad. I mean, obviously, you know, 
the Olympic Committee takes a lot of pride in themselves, you know, a fair game and everything, but something like this doesn't make it fair. It's, it's not what the Olympics is about, you know. It's just not the Olympic spirit to, to screw a guy over like that. I understand it's the rules, but I don't know. It's just something about this doesn't feel right to me. I'll leave it at that. You guys give me your thoughts. Wilhelm Bolosian, I feel so bad for this guy. I mean, to have to go out like that is just absolutely awful. Doesn't even get a chance to race. Four years so you can get disqualified seconds before you're supposed to, just like a second, half second before you're start, really supposed to start. It's a tragedy, guys. It really is. My thoughts and prayers go out to this guy. You know what? He's like 21 years old. But hopefully he'll be back because I would hate for this to be the end of his Olympic career. That would be so tragic, guys. It would be terrible. Absolutely awful. Anyway, give me your thoughts down below. Wilhelm Belosian, a false star here. It's disqualified from the 110-meter hurdles. August 15th, 2016. A truly, truly heartbreaking moment for this guy. I feel so, so bad for him. Alrighty, guys. Thank you for watching. Give your thoughts and prayers. A heartbreaker here for Wilhelm Belosian of France. Disqualified for the false start. Four years, an entire life dedicated to one Olympic dream. It's all taken away from you so fast with just a stupid false start. All right, guys. It's, it's heartbreaking. It really is. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.